Whenever I mention using a paid tool like Ahrefs or getting your own website, I always get feedback that they don't have the money, it's too expensive, they can't afford to get these tools. And so what I wanna do is I wanna show you that A, making money online is actually really easy, B, different ways that you can actually make your first dollar online so that you can take advantage of these paid tools, these premium tools that you can actually scale your online business. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I would go about making my first dollar online and it's actually much easier than you think. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com and as a successful internet marketer, I have made money with everything from stand mixers to sound bars, security cameras, web hosting, and even online courses. If you want real affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when I upload my brand new videos. Also click the first link in the description or go to AustinGodbolt.com forward slash start for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. All right, so as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process to make your first dollar online and you don't have to learn anything new I guess you don't have to go over to eBay I'm not going to tell you to do that this is going to be a simple step-by-step -step guide what I would do if I was trying to earn my first dollar online once again so the first thing that I would do is I would create a Google Doc or a note or something and I would just write down 10 things that I'm average at I'm not even good you don't have to be an expert just average mediocre to average is good enough so if, look at my list here building websites Sites with WordPress, building web pages with ClickFunnels, creating thumbnails with, for YouTube. Some people might say that I'm not very good at it, but I'm, I, I'm sure I'm better than other people that have never done it before. Keyword research, so finding keywords, programming or coding, for example, using something like JavaScript or Python, parenting, outdoor grilling, and hobbies for twin six-year-olds. Now think about that. These are basically things that I do every day for the most part, with the exception of, of coding or programming. These are things that I do every day. And that's what I want to stress to you. Think about things that you do every single day that are old hat, that are common knowledge, and frankly, kind of boring. Because those boring things are things that you are an expert in when you compare it to other people. You don't have to be an expert having 10,000 hours of of skill or mastery, you just need to be one or two steps of the people that are looking for help. For example, I don't think that I'm an expert in hobbies for twin six-year-olds. Um, I have twin six-year-olds, by the way, but I think that I know enough that I could prepare somebody to get started. And the reason why I wrote down hobbies for twin six-year-olds is we just started summer school today. And so I'm going to need to find different ways to entertain them. I could also put down hobbies for uh, a family of five or things of that nature. Again, I don't want you to overthink this. Just make a list of 10 things that you are average at, mediocre to average. You don't have to be expert. Step number one. Step number two is actually coming up with things that you want to learn. Now, the reason why I like things that you want to learn is it's going to motivate you to learn it so that you can go turn around and teach it. For example here, if I reveal these, you're going to see, let's hit, you can see five things that I wanna learn or, or get better at, accounting, graphic design, and photography. The reason why I wrote these three things down is simply because if I'm willing to go out and learn it, I can get one or two steps ahead of somebody else, and then I can turn around and teach it. Now we could even be more, even more detailed, accounting with Google Sheets. These are all things that people are going to want to learn and will pay for. There's a skill that they will pay for. Graphic design, photography. So that's step two. Step number three, you are going to list five pieces of software that you have knowledge in. Now, if we look at this, again, you are just looking for things that you're average in. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be great. For me, I wrote down ClickFunnels, WordPress, Affinity Photo, which is a, a photo editing software, ScreenFlow, which is a software that I'm using to make this video, and Zoom. Again, it can be any pieces of software. If you are an expert at website navigation, if you're average in Amazon, finding the best price on Amazon, write all of that stuff down because you're going to turn around and you can sell that skill. You can market that skill and make money. So that is really a step 1A, step 1B, and step 1C. So after you have these basically 15 to 20 things written down, the next step is to go out and market your skills. Now there are three distinct places that I would go to market my skill skills because that's where everybody is essentially. The first place is a freelancing site like Fiverr. Now I would use, I would sign up to every one of these. I would sign up to Fiverr, I would sign up to Thumbtack, People Per Hour, Upwork. I, I would even look and see if LinkedIn has a, a job board. I would sign up to all of these people, all, all of these different freelancing sites using 
the skills that I have. So building a website, building landing pages, that's to say landing page, not web page, but creating thumbnails, keyword research, programming, coding, parenting, outdoor grill, hobbies for twin six year old. Now I'm going to type in parenting because there may not be a lot of people parenting, for example, a lot of people that are interested in parenting over on Fiverr. If we look, there are 627 services available. I will write an engaging article on parenting. Okay, I could turn my knowledge of parenting six-year-olds into a blog to write, and that would bring me $25. If we look, I will fix your product variation issue. I will write about motherhood, family, parenting. So you can see right there, it's not as competitive, 627 services available. I will guest post on Hi the Parenting blog, okay? Uh, I will write information, informative article or blog on pregnancy parenting. So you can see here that even though you would think that not a lot of people are interested in parenting over on Fiverr, there are people that have gigs and that are making money. So you could make money with this too. And again, you can do this with any freelancing site, Fiverr, uh, building web searches, uh, websites is in, insanely popular over on Fiverr. That's going to be really competitive, but you can see that there is some opportunity. Let's do outdoor grilling. Now there may not be a whole lot for outdoor grilling. We're going to paste that in and take a look. And there may be something, there may be nothing. 37 services available. I will model, okay, so this is all about modeling and rendering. Um, I will be your camping, grilling, outdoors, outdoorsman for photos or video. So this guy will looks like an outdoorsman and he is going to sell you photos of himself next to different things. That again, could be an opportunity to make money. He has 61 five-star reviews. Now these people are buying these photos from him and probably putting them on different blogs or websites. They may even be using it for the YouTube video. So you can see that you could make $5 just taking photos of yourself in your natural habitat. If you are an outdoorsman as this guy is, if you're a painter, a candlestick maker, you could make money that way. Um, another thing you could do is you could manually search through Fiverr and look for these easy, simple, low hanging fruit type gigs. Um, for example, there was one where people were looking for like business. Let's see if we can type it in business, business slogan like that. If we look business slogan, people were looking for different business slogans. So there's 1000 services available. I will brainstorm 20 perfect business names. $25. So if we come up here, we can say a uh, business name generator like that. And you can see there are free business name generators that you could take advantage of. Um, another thing that you could do is let's say um, domain name search like this. And there are over 1800 services available. Um, I will search domain names for you for five bucks. And to do that, you go over to uh, the website's called Instant Domain Search like that, instantdomainsearch.com, and you just type in different domain names. So for example, if you wanted to search domain names for people, you would just say, hey, give me your niche, give me the product or service that you're selling, and I can go there. So if the niche is in uh, parenting, we could say uh, parenting twin, parentingtwin.com or parenting twins. Dot com that's actually available that's interesting i think i spelled parenting wrong but that's fine parenting twins.com you can see that's already taken parenting six year old six year old twins.com so that you could buy um, but you can see there are just so many different ways to make money online if you have no money and you're looking to make your first dollar again hop over to these different freelancing sites another thing that you could do is you could learn a high demand skill like YouTube ads, YouTube ads, like that, and come back over here, and I guarantee you that people wanna learn YouTube ads, or they want someone to set up YouTube ads for them. YouTube ads, like that, and you're gonna see that you can make money setting up YouTube ads. $30, $250, $100, and learning YouTube ads isn't that difficult. You could take watch a bunch of free videos over on YouTube, and there you go, now you're a YouTube ad, expert. So what I would do is I would just let them know that these are the expectations for your ad. And then you can, you can actually find some, some clients that way. But you can see here that we're simply just taking what we know and what we understand. And we are plugging that into different websites that could help us make money. This is just the first step. Another way that you can make money is jumping over to Etsy. 
what's something that you know and you un understand you can do over on Etsy? For me, uh, we could type in something like click funnels like this and search that. And there are going to be people that want a click funnels thing created for them. Funnel mastery, um, sales funnel in Canva. So you could actually build a, a sales funnel over in Canva and give it to them, make $9. Done for you sales funnel playbook, uh, lead magnet, welcome. These are all things that you could potentially create and make money. If we come back over here, I'm going to type in parenting um, tips. Look at this, parenting tips. And these are all digital downloads that you could create and make money. All very easy stuff that you could do. And this all, for the most part, doesn't require any money to get started and you could make money on the back end. And the final thing that I would do is I would jump over to Facebook simply because that's where a lot of people are. I would go over to groups and I would search different groups. We could say, uh, let's type in something like, um, let's type in parenting and hit enter. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna join a bunch of parenting groups and I'm looking for different questions that people are asking. I can then take and turn those questions into a PDF document that I can sell or I can give away in order to market something else. Now remember, email marketing is free for Aweber. And so you don't have to spend any money to get up and running. So if we look at this, we're gonna to go to groups. I typed in parenting, go to groups, and look at parenting tips and advice. This is a public group, so I'm gonna jump in here and I'm going to look for questions. I'm gonna come up to the search bar and I'm going to just type in a question mark. Uh, so they didn't find anything in the group. Let's try something like this, type in question, or you can just type in who, what, when, where, how, and why and you can see that there are gonna be a lot of people. So we can just type in how, like this, or even do how to, and you can see that people are going to be asking all sorts of questions, and you can take this and you can make a document out of it where you're answering the top questions based on your research or based on your personal knowledge. But this is how I would go about making my first dollar online if I had to start all over from scratch. There are tons of opportunities out there. You just have to figure out what works best for you and execute it consistently. The problem with making money online is you have to be consistent. You can't just try it once and say, oh, well, it didn't work for me. I better, I better give up. You have to keep showing up every single day and you can find the success that you're looking for. Now that you know the step-by-step -step guide to make your first dollar online, click the first link in the description for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website, alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.